the final piece in the puzzle of Kayla Kelly's disappearance. It looks like it led up to here. The 33-year-old found in a shallow grave just minutes from the home of the man charged with kidnapping her. That man, Ocaster Ferguson. Uh, it's an absolute tragedy, her death. Uh, but uh, these investigators, um, they were bound and determined that we would find her. Kelly reported missing on January the 11th per investigators that she was dating Ferguson and recently found out he was married. Detectives say Kelly told friends she was going to blackmail Ferguson. Court documents read Kelly even threatened to tell his wife about their affair if he doesn't answer her via text. Her car found abandoned and burned in Frisco a day after she was reported missing. Investigators tracked Ferguson's phone to that area and jailed him on kidnapping charges days ago, but Kelly still missing. That is until she was found here. Investigators not revealing what led them to this wooded area. You know, people buy the story. They buy the line. Police say Kelly and Ferguson met online, that he gave her a fake name and dated for months. Sometimes these individuals that are on the other end of the communication device are not rational and they are capable of killing. Dr. Alex Del Carmen is a law enforcement expert helping train FBI agents. He says a case like this underscores the importance. And so it's not just a matter of being disappointed or heartbroken, it's a matter of life and death. Of knowing who you date. In Grand Prairie, I'm Matt Howerton.